what's up my beautiful people welcome back to the channel today I'm sharing with you my running routine this has been my new running routine since the injury I've been the kind of person that just ease your way into running if you guys do that leave a comment below and let me know when you just get up you ease your way into the running when your body warm up and you keep going so I've changed that mentality now what I've been doing is strictly focusing on my muscle group firing them up before they run that doesn't mean that I go crazy when I start running it means that I fire these group of muscles that could cause injury for me such as my calves my quads my hamstring my glutes and I've been doing these often it's your typical exercises for a lot of runners for sprinters that I've been adding to my routine and it's been working wonderfully and I feel the difference in my body so I wanted to share that with you guys and show you everything I'm doing before I go run I've been doing this for I don't even remember it for how long now but it's been working amazing so stay tuned and let's get right to it the warm-up my run routine This is gonna be awesome because I'm super sore. I bear curl a mile, ever, the most bear curl I've ever done in my life and my whole body, upper body was shot. My shoulders, my core, into my, my legs a little bit. So that's gonna help with that. I'm leaving that little clip so you guys can see bear curling for a mile. If you guys have ever bear curl, let me know below because that was something that was insane. And uh, my boy's trying to bear curl 26.2 miles. And I'm like, I'd rather run 26.2 miles. So I'm super sorry. And I actually got some acupuncture on me yesterday. Some cupping on my back. So I literally feel like there's needles on my legs right now. So I'm super sore. So this warm-up is going to help me release some of those tension before we get that running. So we're going to start right now. All right. We're going to go with our A skip. Now we're gonna do some heel kick, like butt kick, knee up variation. So opening up the hips a little bit. For my soccer players out there, if you know this, give me a thumbs up. If you know this, you know this. All right. Now we're going. Opening those hip up. I have a very tight hip. Guys, this is like a quick warm up. I'm sweating already. My body's feeling warm. As you guys can see, it hasn't even been like five minutes. I don't think. Maybe six. Maybe not even. I don't even know. But it's always less than ten minutes now. We're going to close the gates. Close it. Pretend there's like a a, like a barrel or something in front of your stool you're just trying to step over it rotating that hip okay. so the hamstring we got just kicking up straight variations and now when we turn around we're going to go to the the diagonal variation 
you get the outer glutes with the hamstring. And on our way back, we're gonna do the outside sideway variation. So turn around, you're gonna see that. Okay, turn it around. Now we got the out. You gotta be very careful with this because you can pull your groin. I've learned that in college. Be very careful with this one. I don't do a lot of these because I've been working the hip a lot already. And then now I'm gonna go backward. The back variation. Getting that front hip. You don't wanna lean too much forward, but slightly up so you feel that stretch. And now we just activate the, the calf a little bit off of a little curve. And we go to one. This is what I'm talking about. I literally, I'm like this before I run. But this is what I'm talking about. This is me feeling warm before I go run. I sweat a lot. Not even 10 minutes. I'm like this, which is, now I feel loose. I don't feel as sore. I feel a little bit, but not as sore. This is the warm up. Now let's work on the calf. And we go straight to the run. Okay, small calf activation. Just activating the muscle. Nothing crazy. We're not doing a workout. We're just activating the muscle. So don't do too much of this. And then right after, I get my outer calf. So I just drop it, this stretch gets me out of my outer calf. And then I go in, get my inner calf, right there, stretching that. And I go straight on to get the whole backside. And I'll switch the other leg. We're gonna get the outer calf by pointing our toes out. So we get all this side. And after a while, we go in, we get the inner calf so I get all the inside. And then I go straight on. And I just pedal it a little bit. You don't need anything, just a small height. And you shake that leg off. And you go get your running. So this is what we go. We got our work in before we go get our work in. Time to go get our work in. Day 1,229 is about to get started. Let's get it. Three, two, one, let's go. So I have a look to see what I might find An increased amount of space to behave In the geometric space between your eyes So, oh, 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 so, so And my mind lets me breathe and slow minimum anymore so we're back to where we began Ella run intuitively enjoy the process I don't know how long I'm gonna go but it's gonna be easy you know bodies are sore listen to it I had a therapy with a great marathoner yesterday she runs a sub 3 and she told me Ella it's okay to go at 10 minute mile pace and I knew that I just needed to hear and hearing it from her I'm like, Hella, it's okay to got 10 minutes. You don't always have to try to push it to the limit. And I know this. We all know this, but sometimes it's good to hear from someone, especially someone as a leader. She is. I was like, I got you, girl. I got you, girl. We're back to that. And I hope you guys remember that. It's okay to slow it down. Sometimes it's easier to take, to give an advice than taking it. But I'm telling you guys, it's okay. Slow it down. And I'm going to follow my own advice. Let's go.
time also with the weather. If you feel like you're out of breath, slow it down, calm your breath, and then work your way up. So, don't be out of breath. How you doing? Have a beautiful day. Thank you. And smile. So I had everybody smile to your neighbors. Be kind, be gentle, and keep moving forward. And do the right thing. Always remember, do the right thing. Pace. I wasn't thinking about it. Sometimes this is dangerous, guys, because you're always looking at it like I just did. Just run, and whatever it is, that's what it is. That's your effort that day. So I won't look at this until I go around and wrap it home. I'm just gonna go. So I'll see you guys in a bit when we get to the top. I'm gonna go into town, and then we can't follow us like that. It's not safe. So we're going to town, but I'm glad you came. Stay tuned because we got more to go on this run routine today. We're not done yet. Show a little more inside of my day. Save the USPS. This is where I say goodbye. See y'all soon, love you guys. Best camera late in the game, thank you. Peace out. And we're back. We are back. We just got our work in. I did my best not to look at the pace. At one point I had to look to see how far we ran to see how I'm feeling. And then running intuitively. Wraps around. I'm out of breath right now because I saw a local great guys who gets our garbage every Friday. And I'm excited to see them. I'm like, hey guys. Thank you guys for what you do. So when I'm hype, I feel like also I met a runner that I've been seeing through the park, Ghanaian. I forgot your name. I'm gonna see if I can leave it on the screen. I will see this guy hustling. And sometimes he catch me riding my bike. So I'm like, ah. This guy probably think I'm running bike, but he knows he's been following the channel. And I told him we gotta connect. He's a college, a graduate, you graduate college, he's a runner. So stay tuned for that. Let's just tell you the numbers. It doesn't matter to me. We're running intuitively because I know some of you are curious. So we did 5.2. 5.23 miles, 7.28 pace, and we're here, day 1,222 consecutive days. 29. 20, oh. See? Day 1,229 consecutive days of running every single day just done. Stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you guys a lot more, a lot more. We just got this work in. Now guys, get up and get your work in, and then come and replay, and play the rest of the video, because we got more coming. Forget that work in, let's get it. And we're back. Did y'all get up and get that work in yet? I know it's Friday, it's a relaxing day, but spend some time on yourself and then you can enjoy the rest of the day. Get up and get that work in no matter the circumstances. You know you always got this. I'm gonna hold you accountable and hold myself accountable. Get it in, let's get it, let's go.
Hi guys. Um, I'm just drinking my Vivo Life Sustain for recovery. Usually what I do is I try to shower and get out of those sweaty clothes as quick as possible. And today I didn't have training. I would take it on the go to go train, so there's no work today. So I'm having this just chilling. And I'm actually like, this is part of my recovery actually. I was recommended uh, to a friend, from a friend by this Ufos. So it's like a recovery shoe, sandal. It's so cushioning, so that's also part of my recovery. I'm wearing my Ufos while I drink my Sustain from Vivo Life, just chilling, just enjoying today. No work, today is just taking care of my body. I put more attention to it than I would in a day because I'm always go, go, go. So this is the day to recuperate even more before we get up and go at it again tomorrow. Pineapple and lemon flavor. Lime. Lime. I was, I was confused lemon and lime. In Africa, we just call it numurukumuni. Numurukumuni just mean it's a sour orange. So we don't differentiate. So over here, I'm always confused. Lemon, lime, lemon, lime. It's all the same to me. It's very good, easy to get it down. It's nothing crazy. You feel, you taste the flavor a little bit. It's not super sweet. It's like, you know, you drink that iced tea and it's a little sweet, but it's not, it's lightly sweetened. It's like lightly sweetened. So I wonder if it has a sweetener in it. To look. It might does, we might have to look at that. So yeah. Viva Life Sustain. Thank you, Viva Life. Shout out to you guys. I'm leaving the link below for you guys. And then also my code is hella10 for Viva Life. So I'm going to cut this video short. I want to show you guys more recovery stuff, but I've done a video on that. But if you still want to see a dedicated recovery video, I'll do that one day. But throughout the day, um, I just do a little bit of something. If I'm sitting down too long, I put a foam roller underneath my calf, roll it. I use my Theragun. Um, I also like to, when I'm sitting down on the couch for a long um, period of time, between training and things like that, my hips get really tight. I'll do something like literally putting my leg cross over and literally sit deep, hugging my knee in, all those movements to get the hip to release a little bit of stress. And uh, one of my favorite things that I do before running that I didn't show you guys today is like getting my hamstring, I like to walk brush the floor sticking that leg out and you get that nice stretch so if you guys want to see a dedicated recovery video let me know in the comments below we'll go to that I didn't want to make this video any longer but the goal of this video was to show you my new routine what I do pre-run that I haven't been doing at all throughout this three years I'll just go into my run and it's been working wonderful so let's see what our strength was today so far we're just chilling today we didn't do anything hectic we didn't have any work so when I'm working on my leg I'm running with the kids I'm passing the ball I'm doing speed stuff with them so the strength is higher so today our strain is only 16. You see that? Usually the top that you can get to is 23. And our recovery was really bad, 52%. So this recovery is based on your sleep. I always have these bees come visit me. It's kind of, I think, I think I- He's so scared. I, I'm, a, I'm afraid of bees, but this is based on my sleep and my sleep was really bad last night. I had five hours and 48 minutes of sleep but the whoop recommended me to sleep almost nine hours so i'm listening to it but my body's feeling whole again we're getting our legs stronger we're warming up before a run we're getting our heart rate up we're feeling comfortable we're doing recovery we use everything as we can as possible i hope you guys really enjoyed this video um i wanted to show more but let's not make it too long but we can do a dedicated recovery video make sure you just let me know and remember if you're thinking about it too much that's the cue letting you know that you got to get up and pursue it you might as well Thinking about it, get up and get after it. You got this. I'll see you guys on the next video. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.